prayerlessness causes of prayerlessness why don't people not pray kwa nini watu waone why why and there are so many reasons i will speak about seven i will speak about seven I'll speak about seven i want to begin with the first one ignorance Kwanini watu wa wahombi ignorance let's, 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 let's look at this I read this one yesterday in lunch our chapter 56 of the book of Matthew Matthew 26 and I want to read some few verses Jesus took his disciples to the garden of Gethsemane he saw what is coming tomorrow and then he told people let's pray today he was to be arrested the following day like tomorrow And this evening he took his three disciples Peter, John and James. And then he took them to a, a garden. Not even a building. <laughs> How do you spend in, a, in cold the whole night? Jesus is crazy. The whole night they were to go there. And the Bible says This is what he says then comes Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane and said unto them disciples sit you here while i go and pray yonder and he took with him peter and the sons of zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy <laughs> now look at this i want you to i want to to read some other version some other verses verse 14 and he comes unto the disciples and finds them asleep and says unto peter what could you not watch with me one hour this is kesha Can't you not pray with me just one? And then he says, verse 41, watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Huh? When your flesh is taken over by sleep, when you should pray, he says the, the, the flesh is weak. You, you, they are not seeing what is coming tomorrow. That's why they are sleeping today. They are ignorant about things that are happening. Listen, one of the reasons why believers don't pray is because their spiritual senses are not open to understand what the devil is planning against them. Jesus could perceive in his spirit that some people somewhere are gathering and discussing him how to crucify him and there are as many as 600 seated somewhere discussing wamepanga wamepanga wamebeba panga na room wanakuja kufanya nini to arrest jesus they are coming to arrest jesus who is leading who is leading judah one of his disciple how can you be such wicked You are telling them I will just you know the reason why is betraying Jesus the way the, the, the way to, be, to betray is just to show who, who, who Jesus is among the many that one should tell you Jesus could not be known by many this is not just anybody I think those days there were no photos you know, right now don't have a picture and then I think they didn't know who exactly Jesus is might be looking physically They didn't know who to arrest if they are to come. But uh, Judah is saying, I will go and take you. I will show you. When I kiss him, then you know he's the one. He want to, so he's looking for money. But his disciples that went to pray with him, they are not even aware of prayer. How do you come in a place of prayer and sleep? How can you be prayerless in a place of prayer? come to church but there's no prayer in you eh? ignorant not understanding what the devil is doing the accident that happened the other day a prophet spoke on Sunday he caught it in the spirit nobody knew some of us just heard when it happened God showed what was happening and the man of God said what when he showed when he said that they are 
In fact, he talks about three different accidents. And the first one happened immediately after he said it. But what did he say? Pray! Before the accident happens. Did people pray? The accident has happened. The man of God has seen. But people have never taken it serious to pray. When you can't understand what the enemy is doing against you, don't pray. Ignorance. Ignorance is number one thing. When you are sleepful or full of sleep, <laughs> danger is around the corner. Hatari kokari kukubata. When you are praying, when you are when you are not aware, so ignorance. You can't afford to be ignorant as a believer in this life. I repeat this. You can't continue sleeping and not praying for days, months. And then you want to go into a bright future. No. Watoka masisi, we have attack. Mutoka mamimi. You know one of the reasons why I must pray more than you? Mimi hata kabla sijafanya chochote, hii town yote imeanza kuongea. Pastor uko hivi, pastor uko vile, pastor. You go to any corner of Marsabit County, you, say, you hear about Pastor Joseph Nyanja. What? I don't even know people are talking. Putting on me. Who is talking? The devil is planning. Even to the believers, he's training them. Huyu mjamaa uko vile. Another day I just found somebody speaking about me who never knows about me. So I'm like, unanijua? I know how people have been mobilized not to listen to me. Mobilized, don't listen to him. They might look like believers. Some of them are pastors, some of them are believers. But all used of who? The devil. Jesus was being told never to be listened to by Pharisees. Did that happen? Sometimes I look at these people talking and I tell them, God, forgive them. It is not them. The enemy is at work. When the devil knows you are powerful, he will look for all ways of falsely accusing you. Yeah. And somebody, somebody asks, what happens to you if everybody is speaking against you? What do you do? Do you go and and you go and ask you attack the devil using them the devil can use anybody he used Peter while he was standing before Jesus God used him immediately and immediately the devil used so, any, so we don't have to be ignorant of the devices of the enemy and we should not be a victim of what the enemy has brought so Jesus prayed when he knows something is coming but his disciples could not see this world will not favor you unless you pray <laughs> can I repeat this this world will not favor you unless you pray things are working now look at Jesus he sees, he sees in the spirit 600 people coming to arrest him. You know, look at this. After they prayed, this is what he said. Let me read this and then you understand what I mean. Let's read verse uh, 
they began speaking things that were not true, like Peter, I don't know Jesus. Yeah. Ignorance. You should not be ignorant spiritually in this life. Your progress and increase and success and everything has to be worked in prayer. If you can't manufacture anything in prayer for yourself, you will be sitting there and asking God, why did it happen? Why did it happen? It happened because the devil is against you. <laughs> why me? Why me? Because it is not God. It is you who slept. And the bad things happened. I know we have preachers who tell us if somebody dies accidentally like what happened the other day. After the, the man of God has saved, accident will happen, pray. If a believer dies in that vehicle, will you say it is God? Huh? A prophet has saved, accident will happen, pray before it happens. The devil has planned. And then Kesho will tender Kubari from your accident. When he passed out, I say, Maje, Mungu alimpenda? Nana lipenda? Nana lipenda kukufa kwa ke mungu? Lala, Shetani ya kafaulu. Sasa na bidu tuseme, alikufa kwa sababu tulikataa kuomba. Ndiyo. Sasa tunadanganya watu mungu wali, alipenda. No, ignorance. Ignorance. I am praying that you will understand why you come to pray. And you pray seriously. Until you know why you are praying, you will not be serious in prayer. Is that true? That's why hata ukikuja hapa, unazaka kama unazaka kulala. Yeah. Until God opens your eyes. Until. Until. You know you can work. You can pray for 30 minutes and then you know you are prayed. You can come in up, Kesha, you have not prayed for the whole four hours. You're just struggling around. <laughs> but you can come and make prayer. You know, you're prayed. Huh? That's why some of us, God has to reveal himself to us. That's when you take prayer serious. Number two reason as to why people don't pray. Number two reasons. Let me just read from here. Verse 47. And while he yet spake, Lord Judas, one of the twenty, came and with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Should Judas accompany these people who are against Jesus? I'm asking you a question. Should he be more working with these people? You don't give a good time now. One number one, a cup, and one on gear, kinumena, Christ. Wanapanga file wanamfix. Judas should be praying with Jesus in that garden of Gethsemane. But where is he? Wrong company. Unatembea na wale ambao wajui kuomba na mambo yao ni vitu zingi. We have to be very careful. Who, who do you keep company? <laughs> who do you keep company? Who is your friend? If the people you follow do not Challenge you to grow spiritually, run from their life, even if they are believers. Kuna wa Christo wa mejulikana kwa kusengenya, gossipers, talking about everybody. Talking. Those words you are speaking, why don't you come into prayer and begin speaking in prayer? Your words can either build or break. So sitting with them and wondering, this is what this man says, called David. Psalms chapter number Psalms chapter 1 verse 1. Blessed is the man, blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Them that does not walk in the ways of sinners are people who don't do what the will of God. They are also believers. They are believers who are sinners. Believers. Who are not doing what God expects of them. They are sitting, talking, they are just 
They can do everything except what God said. Sinners. Hmm? Why do you call me Lord, Lord? And you don't do what I? You don't do the will of my father. Jesus says in Matthew chapter number 7 verse you don't do what I say those are sinners let me ask a question are there believers who will teach bad things are bad manners. <laughs> Make a friend with a praying person. Let him challenge you into prayer. Make a friend with somebody who is serious with his prayer life. A believer who does not know how to pray cannot help you run from his life. If you are not praying, I've talked, I've talked here, people who don't pray sin daily. You don't, prayer keeps you from sin. And the other way, the other, it's also the other way, right? The other way also. Huh? Prayer keeps you from sin. Sin keeps you from prayer. So what are you going to do? Do you allow to sin to keep you away from prayer? Or prayer? prayer to keep you away from sin. Which one are you picking? Be careful who becomes your friend. When I got a call, I changed my number. My man was a man in 0726 5 6 3 9 31 For two years, I was told to get a wrong number. I told you wrong number. <laughs> you who is calling? When I came to Marsabi, it's bad here. There are people who study you in high school and some of these things. They were looking for. I cannot be found. I got. I hid myself in the house. And you can't ever find me walking in town of your of your. You can't find me going to somebody's friend. No, 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 no. I came with a divine agenda. I can't corrupt what God has put in me. Working with people, even if they were my child, childhood friends. Some of them are my classmates. Some of them are my village mates. Some of them are my, my choir mates. Then, when I was some years back, but right now, they are still in church, but far from God. I have to keep myself away from them. Otherwise, I will be like them. Now, some of them are wondering why I ran from them now this year. So, if you want to ask to talk, come and sit and listen to the word of God. I don't come to your house and begin talking some foolishness. My work is simple. Preach the word of God, teach. Yeah. So who are my friends right now? You people. Is it you who are coming daily here? Jesus said them that hear the word of God and does what he says. Those are my brothers. And that's what he said. So you have to be very specific. Very specific. If somebody doesn't want to pray, run from that person. Within no, within no time, you're going to become like them. You stop praying. And in fact, you're going to devise some evil things like Judas now. Don't be deceived. What do they say? speak it up. Bad company corrupts good morals. Bad company. So every human being is a container, either carrying bad things or good things. If you can't discern that, look at somebody after sometimes what is coming out of his life. Is God being glorified through his life? You can't just attach yourself to anybody saying they are your friends. Friends, because they speak your language, because they call, even pastors, I don't associate with them, all of them. I, I can't have, might be once in a while, we go and sit and plan something, and I go, 
everybody is going somewhere. And you will realize where everybody is going after some time. You people have seen. For the last one year, there are some people who are with right now. Where are they? Shh. Wengine amenda uko. Wengine. So kila mtu kuna mali anaenda. Ukifuata yeye unaweza ingia na yeye kwa shimo. Mwingine anaingia kwa shimo. Mwingine ana. It's a matter of time. The question is what do you want to hear most? What desire do you have? What attracts your attention? If not the word of God, that is a wrong person to follow. Number three, Comfort. Comfort. A good example right now, if you are in the blanket, how do you feel? Comfort yourself into death. <laughs> you comfort yourself into disaster. You comfort you like these people. They were sleeping, Peter. Three times Jesus comes and they are busy enjoying sleep. But the enemies are coming with rungus and only to wake up and you see 600 men. Jesus was praying, so he was ready. How do you wake up praying and then only see what wamekuja na bunduki? No wonder they took all of them ran for their life. Only Jesus stood there. Kuna vile tunapembelezanga watoto bilia. Yesterday night in our babies just cried. Another comfort. There are people who know prayer only when they have problems. When they don't have problems, they don't know prayer. I have something to eat. I have a good house. I have a girl. So they, why do I pray? The first time I see all manner of people, you being a pastor, you know a lot about me. You can have, nobody can tell you. Comfort. Comfort. Comfort zone, they call it. Comfort should not stop you from doing what makes you live better. Comfort should not drive you into death. One of the things that the devil uses powerfully is sleep. Bishop Gloria told us. One of he told me the people you need to treat dearly in the church are people who come to morning devotion. Did he say that? Murudi muskize teaching ya Bishop Gloria. Murudi. How we get on your queer lunch hour now and get an hour? Hey, hour. Hour when I could get. You see, buy a good lunch hour. But these ones who wake up in the morning, you can't rule the land sleeping in the morning. No. Comfort. Whether you have enough or not, you must pray. Whether you feel like praying or not. Yesterday when I came here, for three hours I didn't sleep from 11 to around 2. Mtoto analia, tunabeba beba. So I kafika 2.44. I said I'm going to church right now. Nikijiwe kelea. Kidogo tu. Baka 6. There's a time somebody was calling me when I was in Nairobi last week, the other week. Pastor tuko hapa lakini hakuna mtu anafungua. Mwenye kona kia melala. Hapa tu. How do you carry a key and you are sleeping? The car is to this the, the key to this place and you are sleeping. You need to be kent. Na ita jikiboko. Melala. Na watu wamekuja kuomba. Na wapikipiki wote wa melala. Wapikipiki. Pastor na wanda kuenda kanisa yu lakina kuna mtu na tutukua. Waja tujienkare tu wapandani ya nyumba tuombea. 
Wewe uko na shida gani? You've been coming all these days morning and you have not even made it. You have not mastered it. May God must have, have mercy on you. <laughs> how how? For, for me it's like uh, I cannot. Let let me be full of Do you know when you, you can't speak in tongues and sleep? It is not possible. The way to chase sleep is to speak in tongues. If I even felt so heavy on me and I speak in heaven there is no sleep. You are, are you aware? And in heaven they speak in tongues, not this language. So when you speak, the demons of sleep will disappear. Jaribu kwamba kuiduga tu baba wapi mungu sijui nini. Na kichwa usingizi imekuja. Unazimia tu pole pole. Speaking tongues. Whoever is coming against you will disappear. Number three, busyness. Number four, that is four, I think. Business. Busy. Do you know I am busy? Being under Satan's yoke. That's what somebody said. Busy. You are busy for everything. You are available for everything and every person except God. Yeah. From morning to evening, you are available for everybody. Everything. But not when you hear prayer, you are like, ah, ah. I am busy doing what? Is what you are doing that has kept you busy that important than God? Some people when the prayer meeting is just about someone calls and they know it's time to go, they begin talking. And you at a time in Aida Lakini you can create time for people some minutes when the time of prayer is arriving. You can create time for some people. Una iba saya mungu. Na una piana nani? Saya. Yo si yako. Kama tumeweka saa fulani ya kuomba ama ya fellowship, hiyo time ni ya mungu. Mtu akikupigia simu kata. Mwingine hata anakaa kwa kanisa anashika simu anatoka mbio. Hey. Somebody is calling me. Let me leave. But I'm not God. That's why you are you don't like it. I will throw you away. You're not going to come back. <laughs> you, you, you people, what do you come to do here? I you know. Sometimes you don't even understand who we came to seek. How do you just come out of this place? I came to never be mtu. Si Mungu alipiga simu. Na anapiga mtu. Na unakimbia. Even if it is your heart sweet, sweet heart, whatever it is, it is sweet heart. Hey. So God is God. Yes, that is sweet heart. Hey. Amepiga. Ukiwa na message imeingia, umekaa kwa kanisa lakini busy if you can't give God attention, you can't pray. Is that that's what we are saying? If you can't give God attention, you can't pray. You have 24 hours to do so many other things, including sleeping. But somebody cannot pray. Umepewa hmm? kazi. Look at Muslims. I think we are Muslims busy. They can't be busy when it is prayer time. They can't. People who know how to rule an environment, people, generation, territories, they make priority whatever keeps them on top. And that is prayer. Anything. The other day, on Sunday morning, I didn't know. We did our youth service from here from 7 to 8 until I finished preaching everything. So I thought the butcheries are open and everything. Everything is closed. Allah. I'm like, I didn't know it was eat on Sunday morning. I didn't know. Ata, ata nyama enye ilikuwa kwa butchery. Maidi wanaenda kukula. <laughs> Wanafanya nini yo? Because they closed. Umja maja fungua mpaka leo. Uyu mwenye property. 
And you do know what immediately after the, the eat, some of them, they will fast for the next three, four days until seven days. That's why they don't even open. You, God have mercy on you. I am asking, when are we going to be serious? Prayerlessness, comfort, and then the other one is laziness. 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 You know you should do, but you're like, ah, ili kitu, ah, mesumbuka tu. Like a morning like this, you know, you're like, yes, this is a muke man, joto ni poa sana. Now, I'm enjoying this thing. Itoke, ni zitoke, ni zitoke. Ongepo wana wana ujiuliza hivi, najua kuna mpata hivyo mpono juu. Ni toke, ni zitoke, ni laziness. There's a time when I was having such kind of portion. Na muka kuoka na maji baridi. Sunadilia joto. Nangiza ya mwili kwa maji baridi. Na urudi uko, naendelea. Discipline. A lazy person needs discipline. Discipline. You must do. If you will not pray, my friend, you are the one who will be disadvantaged. God will not have a problem. And the other thing is this. If you are not a praying type, God will leave you alone and begin using others. We utaka tu pale unafikiria ulianza mbele ya watu. Endelea tu kuongea. Utashtukia umebaki nyuma kabisa. Listen. Let me make this statement. When people call some people like us and you be killed with me, na ujaribu kukaa chini tu 3 4 months umepotea ukirudi unakuta si tumeenda utajaribu kutufikia it will be difficult to arrive where we are prayer daily for 4 months speaking in tongues taking in the word of god and you come later after 4 months the first will be last and the last will be how? The first one thought that now I have arrived. Najua kila kitu. Nimejifunza. Huyu wa mekuja tujana. And this one begin praying more than you prayed. Begin reading the word more than you have read. Begin fasting more than you did. Do you think God is still... Who will do you think God will prefer? You who have relaxed in fasting, praying and do reading the word? Or this one just came the other day? And is fasting seriously. Laziness. Laziness. Let me give the last two and then I finish. If you hear this prayer, you can't afford demonic attacks. Demonic attacks. Demonic attacks. The devil attacking your prayer life. Things are always working against your prayer. Every time when you want to pray, things pop up. Instead of going into prayer, you have to deal with things. Problems, sicknesses. Yeah. When you want to... Let me ask a question. Who should come to church? The sick or the healthy? nani angefaa kuja kanisani yule ambaye ni mgonjwa ama mwenye ako sawa you know it is opposite that's why you're not talking ukigonjeka unasema pastor mimi sisiki vizuri wewe utakufia kwa kupiga kwa kitanda <laughs> you are the one who should come first to church than the one who is healthy yeah you know i am sick i cannot fast but even when you are sick, you cannot eat. Sindio. Can a sick person pray? I am sick, you know, I cannot eat. I cannot take rest until the morning. I hear. Who turn 
nimeenda mbinguni direct. Unataka sasa mtu akuhurumie. Pole wewe ni mgonjwa, hivi nini? Eh, mguni this so the way you, this way when you talk. You know like a baby when mtoto mdogo akipigwa na mwingine unajaribu kupembeleza kuna vile anaji anasikia poa. That's how sometimes people feel. When when you feel when you feel pain you can speak in tongues. You can generate energy that will drive that sickness out of your body. I don't know how people fall sick saying that they have the Holy Spirit. I don't know. I don't know. This body cannot pick any sickness from anywhere. The devil cannot put it. I have to explode and everything the devil planned us to live. If you are attacked by the enemy, Sometimes the attack is in the form of what I already said. The devil has in the city of Thessalonica, let me finish with this. Paul went to preach the first time. In fact, in every city where Paul goes to preach, the, the Jews will incite people against him so that they fight demonic attacks. Thessalonica, they was, was told not to come. You will die. In Lystra, they stoned him. What to do when you know what you are? Thessalonica, he had to send Timothy. He couldn't go back to Thessalonica. This, that's how he wrote the book of Thessalonians. He couldn't go there. He ended at Atangamizwe. What was Kotayari na Mawe? Mawe, what was Ready to kill. Ready. So he was told, don't. Who do you think is inciting all these people against this man of God? Who you are king? There's a time I went to Mubisa. Somebody saw me and there was, is a pastor. He asked, Nani alim later, you are banani. He tattooed a demon in the yako. Wait, we are coming. Hmm? There are two girls. I think you people know. They were asking, Who you are living? Who is screaming? Do you think it is a human being? Demon in them. There are places I am told I am illegal. I am not illegal anywhere on, on Marsabit. I am coming big time. Let them hear now. Ubisa, I am coming. My corner, I am coming. Northora, I am coming. Kalacha, I am coming. Dukana, I am coming. You can't stop me. Huh? That area was told I am illegal. I am building something. When I hit the place, I will take over while you watch merciless, hopelessly, powerlessly. Yes, we are going there. Who is this that incites everybody against you? The religious spirit in the environment. Demon that uses people. But Sabbath will never be the same again because I came. I need to stop speaking, otherwise you will sit here until the morning. But Sabbath, not all. We are coming. We are coming to begin things that has never happened there. The demons that have been ruling that place has to relocate. Kuna wale wana keep demons wa hapa tu na still kanisa iko pale. Hey. We are coming. Demonic attacks where people become restless when they see you. We have to know who is serving God. last one and then I close. Wordlessness. Kutokuwa na neno ndani yako. Hata ujui jinsi ya kuomba kama ujui una neno. Kama ujui neno. Wordlessness. You don't, there's no word in you. You don't even, that's why people pray like this. Do you know people who don't have the word of God in them when they pray? Father, if it is your will, let this thing happen. If it is not your will, that prayer God does not hear. You dustbin direct. I'm a rubbish bin. Direct. You pray knowing the will of God. Your prayer, yes, will be alifanya yenye nimerosoma sai. 
anajua angefaa kukuja kukufa na anaomba Mungu tafadhali ikiwezekana nisikufe doesn't he know but not my will but your will be Jesus knows is only that ameogopa hiyo penye atachapwa <laughs> ndio akaomba the whole night na hmm? na venye huyo venye unaogopa tu kutoka kwa usingizi baba kama ni mapenzi yako wacha nilale kama sije wacha niamke na watu wanakaa tu pale wanaomba Mungu kama ni unajua kuamka na kuomba ni mapenzi ya lakini kuna watu hawajui is this the will of god is this the will of god have you seen people ask that question maybe you people are also asking yourself you need to grow up and fill yourself with the word of with the word of god fill yourself with the word of god so that you know how to pray you have to pray the word the bible says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established and there will be light on your ways the bible says i think that is enough for this morning 